In this demo, we will show how to connect MBUS sensors to a Profinet I.O. network and get live values from the sensors straight into Siemens TIA portal. To be able to do this, we will first convert the MBUS values to Modbus TCP registers with the help of Anybus MBUS to Modbus TCP gateway and then convert the Modbus TCP registers to Profinet I.O. using the Anybus X gateway Modbus TCP. In this demo scenario, I'm using an electricity meter from ABB and a Residia water meter from Census. Both meters have built-in MBUS communication. I will transfer the data using the two Anybus gateways over to a Siemens ET200 PLC with a built-in Profinet I.O. connection. After connecting all devices to the network, I first log in to the MBUS to Modbus TCP gateway. I do this by typing in the IP address of the gateway. The default IP address for the gateway is 192.168.1.101. But in this case, I'm using 10.10.55.92. By default, I'm logged in as a web user. But to be able to make changes, I need to log out and log in as administrator. The default password for this is admin and admin. Now I can change IP addresses and other settings under the General tab. So, let's have a look under the Meter tab, where we will see all the values from my connected devices. I click Scan and the gateway starts looking for MBUS devices which are connected to the network. I can now see that the gateway has found two MBUS devices, the water meter from Census and the electricity meter from ABB. I click Save to save these sensors. If I expand the meters, I can see that the gateway has also automatically mapped all values to Modbus registers, which I can see here to the right. For the sake of this demo, I will transfer two meter values to the Anybus X Gateway Modbus TCP. I want to transfer a serial number from the water meter, which is two Modbus registers, and the current energy value from the electricity meter which is four Modbus registers. To receive these values, I will use the Anybus X Gateway Modbus TCP. The configuration for this gateway is also web-based, so I can simply type in the IP address of the gateway, which in this case is 10.10.55.91. Now I have landed in the Anybus X Gateway Modbus TCP to Profinet I.O. By clicking on Modbus Client in the navigation to the left, I can change IP addresses and other general settings for the Modbus Client. Client means master in Modbus terms. To create the connection to the MBUS gateway, I go to the Modbus Servers tab. Here I click Add New Server to add the MBUS gateway as a server. Server means slave in Modbus terms. I click Edit and name the server MBUS Gateway and also enter the IP address for the MBUS Gateway which was 10.10.55.92. I click OK and can then go on to Transactions to set up what I want to receive from the MBUS Gateway. As you remember, we want to transfer two meter values from the MBUS devices, serial number from the water meter and the current energy value from the electricity meter. I therefore click Add New Transactions twice. I click Edit on my first value and then type in the name. I choose to call it Residia Serial Number. Now, when it comes to allocating the registers from the MBUS Gateway to the X Gateway Modbus TCP, we need to do some calculating. In the Configuration Manager for the MBUS Gateway, we could see that the registers for the water meter starts at register 10. If we look at the manual for the MBUS gateway, I can see that serial number for a meter starts at 0 and goes to 1. That means that I will have a starting register at 10 plus 0 plus 1 since I have an offset of 1 between the two gateways. The number of elements is 2 since the serial number is a 32-bit value. I do the same thing for the second transaction, 
which is the energy value from the ABB electricity meter. I name this transaction ABB Watt Hours. The start register here is 50, which I could see in the MBUS gateway. I look in the manual and see that we have an offset for the first meter value at 0 to 3. That means that I will have a starting register at 50 plus 0 plus 1 since we have an offset of 1 between the two gateways. The number of elements is 4 since the energy value is a 64-bit value. I now go on to X Gateway Management to apply my changes. When this is done, I go to Mapping Overview, where I can see what it will look like from the PLC side, how I need to map things as a PLC programmer. In the Transaction Monitor, I can see whether the Modbus queries are working, that is if we are receiving any data from the NBus side. This seems to be working, so now we can switch to the final part, getting the values from the NBus devices into TIA Portal. To add the Anibus X Gateway Modbus TCP to TIA Portal, I have already added the GSDM file which I have downloaded from anibus.com. I browse my way to the X Gateway Modbus TCP and drag it into my configuration. I also assign which PLC system it belongs to, my Profinet interface in this case. I double click on the unit and also add the modules which we also saw in the X Gateway. As you remember, we could see this in the mapping overview of the X Gateway. This was 2 and 4. I then decide which addresses I want the input to have in the PLC. In this example, we use 70 and 74. I also need to set the IP address for the X Gateway on the Profinet network. I set this to be 10.10.55.90. Next, I need to assign a device name, which I do by right-clicking on the X Gateway and select Assign Device Name. Here I search for the available units and see that my X Gateway shows up. I select this and click Assign Name and then close. OK, so I'm pretty much finished. In the network view, I can click Download to Device. The system now starts compiling the configuration. When this is done, I click Load and Finish. I can now go online and into our tag list and add our two values. First, Residia serial number. This is a double integer located at ID 70. Then we have ABB Watt Hours, which is also a double integer at ID 78. I can see that the values from the MBUS devices now show up. If I compare them to the values in the Anibus MBUS gateway, I can see that they're the same. So I've now created a connection from MBUS to Profinet via Modbus TCP.